So hey folks, assalamu alaikum. In this video, we are going to talk about uh, the cloud shell. Okay, it is cloud shell. So first of all, you have to know like uh, this service is not provided in every region. Okay, so you can search about that. And uh, what did I mean about that? What did I say? Basically, it is you see when you log into your account, what will happen is you will see there's a list of regions. Okay, and you can choose any here you can see like these are something we can choose here and there are 12 regions that are not enabled for this account okay uh, this is re the reason because this is not uh, the main uh, account of mine and i previously uh, mentioned why we don't use uh, our main account because there is a risk of like um, having a lot of cost right maybe you have just enabled a service so a lot of things and so on so in general in the companies what happens is like uh, the owner of the company uh, they create lots of accounts which are basically uh, called like i am users and so on and i have created a video on that so you can see that so and this is how it helps is like uh, depending on the maybe there is a developer maybe there is a uh, operations engine and so on so basically for example so they will have the different accounts so it will be easy for the manager to know okay who is uh, doing what kind of task and how much it is costing and so on it's better okay and also the risk is uh, like maybe um, and also the maybe developer does not have access to certain files okay so he might not actually delete he or she might not delete certain files okay the, so to become risk-free um, uh, we can actually we do actually create IAM users and uh, because you know like cloud is expensive as a whole not expensive um, if you keep it like if you think about like okay uh, let's uh, actually buy a PC or others and so on or uh, RAM or uh, GPU and so on and just compared to that but if you just think okay if you just uh, forget uh, if you just uh, maybe create a service and uh, or open up a, a machine learning model and if, if you just forget and then it will charge a lot okay so in that perspective okay okay let's just start with like this cloud ship okay first of all uh, great Let's create a um, actually cloud shell here. So here we can see cloud shell user at the rate IP and so on. Okay, let it be. Now let's just focus on, okay. So let's just see uh, what is the version of AWS we are using. Okay, here you can see the CLI is 2.17.26 uh, and uh, the Python version is 3.11 and Linux is 6.1 and so on. Okay. Now the fact is that this is basically free service. Okay. And you can use that for sure. Uh, and another thing is how, why do or where do we use that? That's the important factor you can do. But importantly, like uh, if you talk about that, like, okay, you're using that like, in general, what I have done is I have already made it to font size to large, but in general, it is basically small in general. Okay. So you'll see this kind of thing. So just for the uh, better one, I've just done that. Like you can now switch to, uh, you can just go for the larger uh, one so that it is far better. You can uh, watch that. Uh, every single word will be visible. And now let's see what we can do. There are like few things like, okay, mm, um, let's see. Uh, okay, <clears throat> there are few, a lot of things we can do in general, okay. Uh, for example, let's see. So, uh, attach rule policy. Here, from here you can see what is happening is like, um what are the options so argument operation value choice okay i think after the aws we had a wrong choice okay hmm uh might be list users or something okay hmm yes list account alias list uh, okay let's see yeah list users should be users uh yes great so another thing is like 
I have basically two IAM users right now. It's admin ID, you see, this is admin ID. Another one is for developer. So you can see user ID, user ID, RN, create ID, when it was created, when is the last time and the password is used to log in and so on. Okay. So this is how uh, the basic thing, a lot of things you can do. Basically, it is basically the terminal uh, we have in labs so, or so on. Okay. Now what you can again do is like you can create some files here, maybe uh, testing, testing, uh, what to say, um, cloud shell. Okay, great. Uh, Demo.txt. So in general, if you use Linux, you'll see like this is how we create our like a text file or any whatever it is, we can do that. Now, how can we see like what is there? So you can see ls. Uh, so after that, you can see the list of files. So this is demo.txt, right? Great. Now, what we will do is uh, after that, um, we can just see what is inside that, right? Uh, inside demo.txt, that's great. It's testing cloud. So this is what we did, right? right? Great. Now also we can see in which directory are we in. So we can see it is slash home slash cloud shell user. Okay. So this is the location we are currently in. That's great. Okay. Uh, so I think yeah, there are a lot of things. And also uh, you can actually, uh, as I did mention, like you can see the list of commands actually, see what you can use and so on. So uh like we don't need actually uh, directory help in general people do like uh, in other codes so we just use uh, help okay great okay so what are the things we can do so you can see that uh, when we mention this one you can see like there's a lot of things we can do right previously from there like after i am i did mention user list but 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 the thing is only with the i am just if you've just seen um, uh, my video on uh, the uh, like in the playlist i've mentioned about i am user uh, management i guess so the thing is there are a lot of things like just basic things we have just talked about it but uh, here you can see all of the stuff we can do okay uh, okay so yeah wq okay so yeah that's the thing basically we can do right so um just uh, i was mentioning like okay or just for the IM, we have so much options, right? So this is how we can do. So again, uh, from here you can see like uh, when we do when you, we do like help. Let me clear these ones right, first. Oh my bad. <laughs> AWS help. Great. So what happens is we are saying like okay after AWS what you can do this AWS command this is basically AWS command line interface is uh, this this is uh, global options you can debug you can endpoint url no verify ssl and so on a lot of options right and uh, hmm okay so again um so after aws what you can do just to mention a specific service so for example what we did was i am right and i didn't actually made a mistake or using this one so what it mentioned okay that was a mistake so these are the services you can do you can create a role you can actually create a user you can delete account allies you can delete a group there are a lot of things okay i am user group and so on there are a lot of things we can do in uh, if you just use this one i am you can see that so these are the services we can do so there are a lot of things we can do in cloud shell as well okay so that was it i i'm not uh, here like uh, this video is not to uh, demonstrate something like maybe do a project on that it's basically the basics of cloud shell what you can do what is the power you have using cloud shell or you can call it a terminal uh, free terminal as well okay now the thing is uh, we actually created a mm, file right if you just see demo text now if we just restart that restart uh, this one um, the cloud shell so what happens let's see stopping the environment mm, is starting this one <clears throat> So let's see what happens. Uh, it's taking a bit of time, a bit of time affords. Now let's see. And uh, once it's done, let's, I think it's almost done. So let's see. Now uh, what we can see is I want to see. Yes, it's there. So when you restart, whatever you do, the file will be here. So how to delete that? Basically, you just have to delete this one. So deleting US is uh one environment so use east one is basically this region 
not uh, Virginia okay great if you just delete that all of the things will be deleted okay that's great so done so we're done with our cloud shell basic uh, video so yeah thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next one mm -hmm.